my channel. I'm super excited for today's workout because today we're going to be working out on our chest. We're going to be doing no equipment at all. All you're going to need is a chair or a surface that you can uh, lean on with a lot of your body weight and some socks. <laughs> so I'm not actually too excited for this workout. I can't, I can't really lie about it because I don't necessarily love working my chest just because a lot of people overwork their chest and so I really try not to do that. And so my chest is the weakest muscle on my body for sure by far like weaker than my calves which is saying a lot so this chest workout is going to be a little harder for me but I still wanted to get a chest workout out there for everyone who is not able to go to a gym or who isn't really sure how to work their chest at home so doing this for you guys don't make fun of me we're gonna be positive um, and I hope you guys enjoy this workout let's get right into it okay so I just wanted to address this because I forgot to do it in the video and a lot of people have questions about this. When you want to build muscle, people think that you have to go to the gym to do it. That's not necessarily true. Yes, weights are a great way of doing that because they fatigue the muscle and they tear the muscle so efficiently. But basically, the way to build muscle is you need to tear the muscle. So you need to tear parts of the fibers in the muscle. And then after that, you give it yourself protein, you give yourself water and you give yourself rest. That's gonna help your muscle to repair. And when it repairs, the muscle gets stronger and therefore it builds. So the way to build muscle effectively at home without any weights is just to fatigue your muscle, which is why most of this workout is going until failure because every person is different. So your failure is far different from my failure. And as long as you're pushing towards your failure, you're going to succeed in ripping your muscle, tearing the muscle fibers, and therefore you'll, you'll succeed in building muscle, which is the overall goal here. So just a reminder, go until failure, meaning go until the last two reps of whatever you're doing is hard to finish. Go until you struggle to finish your last two reps and you'll know you've hit failure. If you're still finding that you can push past more than those two reps, go until you can't. Go until you literally just collapse on the floor from doing too many push-ups. That's a good way to achieve failure. Literally to not be able to do it anymore and you'll know you succeeded in tearing your muscle. Okay, we're starting off with the half circle push-up. We're doing three sets of 10. So what you're going to do is start on an angle. You're gonna do a wide push-up, come together and have your fingers shaped sort of like a triangle between your thumb and index finger, then do a push-up. You're gonna switch between these two push-ups until you made a half circle. For me, it ended up being 10 reps, so five of each. Moving on to push-up shoulder taps, you're doing three sets until failure. So you're going to do a push-up, push up at the top of your push-up. What you're going to do is take one hand off the ground and touch the opposite shoulder, go back down and do the same thing on the other side. This is what it looks like from the side. I am doing a modified push-up. Remember to keep your core tight and your legs and glutes engaged. If you want to do a regular push-up, feel free to do that as well. Moving on to explosive push-ups, you're doing three sets until failure. You're gonna be using the socks this time, slide your hands out into a wide push-up stance, do a push-up, come back up, and at the top of your push-up, you're going to pull your hands together and flex your chest at the top. Moving on to a lateral arm drag, you're doing three sets until failure. Again, you're in your push-up form, you have your socks on your hands, and what you wanna do is not go into a push-up per se, but you're just going to open your arms by sliding your one hand out to the side, giving a, a little bit of weight in that hand that's out to the side, and then you're gonna pull that in. This is gonna help work your pecs individually and really just focus on the time under tension for this. Moving on to push-up forward reach, you're doing three sets till failure. So for this, you're doing more of a narrow push-up. You're gonna come down and as you push up at the top, you're going to reach your hand forward, keeping constant tension in the floor as you slide your hand forward and then slide it back and go straight into a push-up. Okay, moving on, I'm calling this the push-up expansion and reduction. You're doing three sets until failure. For this, you're just doing a narrow stance to a little bit of a wider stance to a super wide push-up stance. And then you're coming back while sliding your hands for this the entire time. 
Moving on to incline push-ups, you're doing three sets until failure. Normally, my hands will be in a regular push-up position, so keep your hands in a regular push-up position. The only reason I'm like this is because the chair is not against the wall. And keep your core tight. Moving on to side push-ups, three sets until failure. This doesn't look like a lot, but trust me, you're going to feel this in between both of your pecs. You're really gonna feel the flex. So really just focus on that flex. What you're gonna do is have your hand just about under your chest. You're going to push up and at the top, you wanna flex your pecs together. So really just focus on that flex in between your pecs when you're at the top of this motion. Moving on to a pec fly variation using the socks. Three sets until failure. For this, you just wanna pull your hands apart doing a fly. You can rest at the bottom if you have to, and then you're gonna come to the top by driving your hands together. Imagine being on a pec fly machine. Copy that motion. Okay, everyone, that's it for today's chest workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel. And if you've done both of those already, go ahead and click that little bell to turn on your post notifications so you never miss another workout with me again. As I mentioned from the beginning of this video, chest is definitely not my favorite muscle group to work. It's um, actually a lot harder for me because for so long I was super hunched over. Um, my I still have a slight hunch in my upper back and so I'm still correcting that. So I avoid chest more than the average person, I would say, because a lot of people don't realize the stress of having a super overdeveloped chest muscle will just, it'll just help curl you forward, pull you forward, and it eventually will just give you a lot of back pain. So I struggled with a lot of back pain. Um, and then when I got certified as a personal trainer, I understood why that was, and I'm still in the process of correcting that. Right now though, my back is amazing, way better. I have no pain at all, thanks to um, the exercises I was doing. Did a lot of study on that, um, and so for a really long time, I kind of avoided working out on my chest. That being said, you still should work your chest. You should work every muscle in your body. I work my chest maybe like once every other week, but I'm gonna be doing it more consistently now because I'm happy with how my back's looking. I'm happy that I have no pain in my back, and so now that my back muscles are stronger, I will continue to train my back, but there's way less of a chance of my, my pecs developing to the point where it's going to pull me forward because I already have that foundation in my back. So now is the time for me to continue on my journey and start training my chest and get some strength there. So this video is a little rough for me. You can tell I'm struggling a lot, but I wanted to put it out there because I want you to see more of a real side of fitness because it's not always easy. People make it look super easy, but like the fact is if you're on your fitness journey and you're trying to improve an area on your body you are going to be struggling if you're not struggling you probably hit a plateau the exercise is too easy and you're not going to succeed you're just gonna stop in your progress there so it should always 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 be hard okay so update on my goals because my goals are changed a little bit since I'm not being in the gym or since I'm not gonna be going to the gym anytime soon I'm focusing more on flexibility mainly flexibility um, as well as being able to do cool things like handstands and stuff I'm super excited about it once I achieve those things, once I achieve um, something I'm proud of in those areas, then I will share it with you guys. I definitely will. I'll show you how I got there. Um, maybe I'll even film like a over time film what I'm doing and then eventually, hopefully I'll get there. Okay, one thing I did want to share with you because I've been getting a lot of requests, um, a lot of messages over Instagram, Snapchat, as well as um, some of the comments down below. So I am going to be offering, because I am a certified personal trainer, a lot of people have been asking me to make workouts for them or asking me what good exercises um, would help a certain area in their body and what I'm going to do now um, because we are all in quarantine and I have a lot of extra time is I'm going to put my email down below. If you're interested in buying a workout program, um, we can discuss pricing in the email as well as I want you to send me a picture of what equipment you have at home and I will base the workout off of that. So if you have nothing, don't worry, we can figure it out. It'll probably be socks or a towel, but I will send a video explanation of each exercise I want you doing and we can discuss pricing based on what uh, muscle group you want to work, whether it's a full body workout, that sort of thing. So if you're interested in that and you're looking for a, an at-home workout program and you're really struggling, go ahead, message me. My email is in the bio down below. Um, we can chat over that and we can discuss what program you need. All of that being said, thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you all back here next Tuesday. 
I always forget to say this when I'm actually filming, but go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well as Snapchat down below. I put that information all in the bio as well as don't forget to turn on your bell so that you never miss another video with me again because I think I might be posting more than just once a week and I'm not sure when that will be. So if you want to stay um, kind of like in the loop about that, the best way to do so is to click that little bell so that every time I post a video, you get a notification for it. Thank you.